Hello, YouTube. Hello, hello, YouTube. Hello, hello YouTube land. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hi, Hi, Lena. Hi, guys. Hi. It's so nice to see you here. Well, do you know what, Diana? I never thought I'd get this far today. Uh, everything just went blank. Every time I went on Facebook. Yes, uh, yeah, we've been having tech problems today. Uh, did anybody else have Facebook problems? She's been having a lot of problems with logging on Facebook, and yeah. and I'm thinking if less unless a lot of other people are having it, then it's and then it has to be her computer or or um her internet problem. And if, if if a lot of other people aren't having the same problem, I know it's it's been a well. Oh, oh, let me make the introduction. So, um, guest guest artist every Wednesday, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We have uh, Gracie Shack coming to us from the UK. She usually paints watercolor, but she just started I mean, in the past uh, in the past month. She started painting in acrylics and is really getting great results from it and really loving it too. So today she is painting a rooster, and I called him Roo. <laughs> And he gave the rooster a name, Rue. <laughs> That's original. <laughs> oh, he looks like he's about to lay an egg, but he's a boy. He's a boy chicken. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's see who else is here. Oh, oh Ian, 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 Ian Jackson's here. Oh, Mr. Jackson. Hello, sir. Oh, hi, Ian. Hello, Mr. Lord of the Jaffa Cakes. Dark Lord. Of Lord the Dark Lord of the Jaffa Cakes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a hard one to remember. <laughs> Look at the feathers, though. I am so, as we say in England, I'm chuffed to bits with the with the feathers on this one. I know. <laughs> we did not use that word, but I heard my Scottish friend use it use it for the first time a while ago, and I'm like, oh, I have never heard that word, chuff. I am. Yeah, I'm chuffed to bits with the feathers there, uh, guys. I mean, it looks yeah, like oh, that's a good thing. Yeah, and he did well, and he did, I just thought it was a bad thing. No, chuff means a good thing. Oh yeah. And um, this guy, this this rooster looks like he's about to lay an egg until my until my dear mum said, Grace, this is a, this is a boy chicken. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a girl chicken. But because they're so vibrant, you think they're girls, don't oh, you? Yeah. Usually um, no, a lot of times in animal the animal kingdom, the but yeah, the more flamboyant looking yeah. animals are the males, like the uh, like the male pheasants, because I live in the countryside and I get yeah, a lot of peacocks. Pheasants. Yeah, peacocks, uh, hummingbirds, the hummingbirds, oh, cardinals, cardinals. Yeah, the the female hummingbirds, they're quite muted in color uh, compared to the male uh, hummingbirds. Yeah. So I better not put it. I was going to put an egg on the left-hand side of the uh, rooster, but I thought that might look silly because he's a boy chicken. So yeah, because he unless he's watching over his um, unless he's watching over his you know his egg child or whatever they uh, chicks. That's it, chicks. Oh, yeah, have... Ian, Ian is uh, correcting me or us. It's not a chuff. That's another kind of uh, that's another kind of bird. What? Oh, no, what? we're not saying chuff is a bird. No, no. We're not, we were saying chuffing is an is a English expression. I mean, is a is a British expression, a UK expression for uh, being proud of. Oh, look! It's just just gone five past six in England, according to my watch. Yep, and it's bang on time. We're not that late, Diana. I know we're not. No, we're not that late. I tell you what, I was oh, I was not a happy camper earlier. It was absolute nightmare. Oh, and uh, oh, did you tell Ian about your connection problem? I did, yeah. And I had a problem in Hangouts as well because I keep I keep Hangouts as like an extra piece of social media. Um, and uh, I told Ian about that one, and Ian said it's something to do with the server. Um, uh -huh. from my understanding of what Ian said, but uh, I don't know anything about computers really. I'm hopeless. <laughs> There's a lot of chicken. It looks real almost. This chicken. It looks like he's sort mm. of sat on my table. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I hope nobody mentions where are his legs because I didn't give him any legs because I wanted him to sit down. Oh, so oh, he so he is um sitting down. 
Yeah, he's he's a very feathery rooster. This one. <laughs> he likes his food. Uh, this rooster. <laughs> Got a nice, he's got a nice round tummy. There you go. Yep. Oh, and uh, speaking of farms and farmyards, I have my Pickerick mug here. Is uh, Pickerick? He's got two channels. If he's listening. If he's listening, Pickerick, um, she's she is promoting your merch. Yes, I am indeed. And there's Elvis. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's Elvis. Oh, he's not that great. Elvis is so cute. Actually, I'd also have, uh, I, I broke my drawers in my desk, all of my stuff was broken, uh, and that's something else that happened yesterday, my desk actually broke, and I had the stickers too, there you go Diana, there's the stickers, look. The stickers for what, oh, his stickers, that, that's part of his merch? Yeah, look, that's so cool, I really want one of these for my own channel. Oh, yeah, I was thinking of develop because I started thinking of some before I was like, I don't know, my merch is my stuff for my Etsy shop. But then I started thinking of cool things I could put on T-shirts. Oh, hi, Chrissy. Chrissy Canvas Art is here. Hi, Chrissy. Nice to see you guys. So, hello, Ian, Chris Wiener, and Chrissy. I'm getting better at this thing, Diana. <laughs> Are you, tell me when you're ready to be on the full screen and you're going to start painting. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh my goodness, what a day. It's just been one like one glitch or computer problem after the other, you know. It's just been it's been a bit of a nightmare. So uh, Mr. Jackson will be pleased in my paper choice today, Diana. I am using Arches 140 pound sheet of uh, Arches watercolour paper. Um, and here are my colours that I've used, and I forgot to put blue on my little colour list. Um, today we'll be using burnt umber, crimson red, yellow ochre, titanium white. I think it's titanium white, but I'm not sure. Uh, and lemon yellow. Yes, so, it is titanium white. The other kind of white is called, um, they call it mixing white, or they call it uh, white. And that that is a a less opaque white. The, the titanium oh, wow. white is more commonly used because it's um pretty, because it, it, it's opaque. Whereas yeah. the, the zinc or what they call mixing white is if you want more of a, it's more of a translucent. I did not know that, Diana, thank you. Well, there's a lot of things you're gonna be learning again, oh, acrylics, especially acrylics. Absolutely, yeah. Oh, Germany, Germany Travel, a new friend. Germany Travel, welcome. Hello, painting show yeah. <laughs> welcome to the painting show so there's my colors and i've put a bit of water on top of them just to make them kind of a bit flowy because i'm used to watercolors um, and these are the the derwent uh acrylic watercolors i only have 12 of those um because i don't want to end up having too many paints like i did with my watercolors i want a kind of limited palette and stuff so uh you need two jars of water or a water bucket you need two of these and it has to be equal amounts of water uh so you've got dirty water then clean water and then for brushes i'm not using too many brushes this is a royal and nan nickel and it's the mermaid brand of brushes Diana, has anybody in chat tried the royal and nan nickel mermaid brushes all right you, you can ask the chat ask the chat like I don't know, I can't say the name of that brushes. I can't under, I can't hear it right. What you're saying? Then, oh, ask okay. the chat. Ask the chat. It's a, so. Have you guys in the chat used Royal and Dan Nickel Mermaid brushes, which is this one? Um, they're green and they they've got like a, a mermaid like theme on the uh, on the handle. Is that what they're called? Handles. That makes yeah, me yeah, yeah. Well, that might. I guess that's what I call it, the handle. But there might be a more technical word for it. I'm not sure. No, I'm not sure. Um, oh, Chrissy, I yeah. think she says she's ha she has, yes. Oh, they're good, aren't they? They're mixed media, I believe, these. I, I always have uh, Royal and Nan Nickel um, brushes because they're very good value for money. And I've never had a shedding problem with them. Um, mm -hmm. So that's really good. And this one for the smaller feathers is a Royal and Nan Nickel Zen brush. Z-E-N, Zen. 
and as you can see it's really really thin um for the for the thinner lines uh for the feathers right down there and then i put some little white feathers up at the top there um which, using this brush so and it's archers 140 pound sheet it's a really big sheet of paper uh and you can layer and layer and layer because it's uh 100 cotton so it's professional paper yeah but, i always use 140 pound oh now that's for you american guys that's 300 grams um so that's heavyweight paper basically very very heavyweight paper so i'm just going to lift this off because i'm going to start to I, I've decided to draw this one, Diana, as well as paint it. Um, so I don't oh, have okay. to instead of having the. Well, usually you do draw it, don't you? Do I? Do I usually draw? Yeah, actually, yeah. I can't remember. No, sometimes you sometimes you have it already drawn, and other times you do the drawing. You do it. You do it like either way. Oh, right. Okay. Like the New York City skyline, you didn't sit there and start drawing that. I didn't think of it. I couldn't. Know. You had that drawn ahead of time. Yeah. I uh, just want to say thank you, uh, Pickerick, for the idea of the of the chicken. That was a really good idea. And then if we can vote later on in chat what we can paint next week, um, that would be a really good idea. Even though you already have an idea, but just in case you want you want to uh, open it up with that. Yeah, I think I think it's a good idea if you can, you know. Yes, we do. Can... Last week we voted too. Yeah, you did. Yeah. And it was, it was heron. Heron is what came up. Yeah, I'd like to do it, but I, I think that might be a bit tricky for me because I, I haven't oh, done okay. any birds. Um, and I thought the chicken was relatively easy to do. Um, but maybe, uh, what other kind of bird? Um, uh, Flamingo, flamingos? Or that would be too hard? Or that would I, I think I could do a flamingo. They're quite, uh, they're not too bad. They're not too difficult. But I'd struggle with the heron, I think. As nice as I like that idea. Mm. I'm just going to take my board just because so I don't... We'll, we'll ask the chat near the end uh, what they yeah. do it is. Near the end, that would be perfect. Yeah. I'm just using my Aldi's washi tape. Do you know, I haven't been shopping to Aldi's in three months, Diana. <laughs> right. It's unheard of. I, I, I always go. It's like, oh, how are we all doing with the quarantine stuff? Are we all? Well, are we all I, still get, I get freaked out. Like when when our one of our friends comes over. It's it's my no, it's my husband's friend. Yeah, and um, he's he works with the public. Like oh. actually, like so, and he. I'm not sure that he's wearing like he's supposed to be wearing a mask and gloves. Like he works as a train conductor, so he's always he's always dealing with people giving him money he's you know always all, the constant interchange of money back and forth and tickets back and forth and hopefully he's wearing gloves like he's supposed to oh, yeah he kind of doesn't take the whole thing very seriously he goes oh you give me a mask i'm gonna cut holes in it i'm like God, I love you. like he thinks it's blown out of proportion but way yeah. blown out of I don't know. I don't agree. I don't agree with him. So I don't, um, I don't like him. And no, I don't like him in the house. We don't, I don't like him in the house. But, uh, my husband lets him in the kitchen and then they sit out and then they either sit, they sit outside because the weather's too warm. Uh, so let me just erase this because one thing I do find really tricky when I'm painting, the main thing I find really difficult and I know it sounds silly, but it's the positioning of the thing that you're drawing. Like I either get it too low or too high. I uh, I need to practice that a little bit more. So don't do what I just did, guys. Right, to start again. I'm going to go a bit higher up this time. There we go. That's better. Yeah, it's something to try to be really aware of, like while you can fix it. Yes, Instead exactly. Of finding out later, oh, it should have been higher. It should have been lower. And, and you don't want that on a live stream. You want to get it right. You got to know your subject really, really well. If you're doing a video, or you know, or just a video or anything, you've got to know. And, and chickens are beautiful birds. 
Um, they've got very they've got very interesting kind of shapes. I don't know what they call that part on the head. Is that called uh, the crow? The, the, is that what it's called? I I don't know. No, no, the rooster crows. That's what the now. So I uh, guess okay. So they all they, there's a name for the thing on the 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 that skin, the gobble, the gobbler skin. Like, yeah, like that, that, like that part there. That and then the top, there's a name for that. And then underneath the chin, the, the red chin thing has a name too. Oh, I just want to remember what it is. And then they've got red around the eye too, um, which is quite a nice contrast between the brown colors, the yellow ochre. And then, I've, and then they've got blue and brown feathers. They're really vibrant and um, yeah. The nice birds, chickens. Ian says you should draw it first and transfer it. I know that's what I should have done. I should have done that because the only downside to arch is paper, and it's at the only dark that don't only what that downside is if you draw directly onto your arches paper, you will get smudges. Um, it smudges really bad. So, you know, there's something to keep in mind if you're a beginner. But to be honest, if you're a beginner, I wouldn't recommend you use arches anyway because it's very, it can be very expensive. So um, I wouldn't recommend it for a beginner. Chantrelle, Goswina says uh, Chantrelle. I don't know. I don't know which body part she's talking about. The rooster, if she is, because we were saying what's the part on the head and what's the part under the chin. I should have really looked into it before I. Um, so I did the painting, but I didn't. Oh, everybody can hit thumbs up, thumbs up. Let's see if we can get to 20. 20 mm -hmm. thumbs up. Or 10? No, no, 20. 20. I'm more ambitious than 10. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not very ambitious with my thumbs up. We already have six thumbs up. That would be too easy to get it to 10. Oh, oh thank you, guys. That's cool. There's his little eye there. I'm trying to draw quite thickly. Oh, Sleaze the Sax Rules is here. He, he visited this morning, too. Hi, Hello. Sleaze the Sax. Hello, Sleaze. That's Ian Jackson's number one fan. Yeah. So I'm just drawing these bits that... No, I'm just going to show Sleaze because he's he's just arrived. Sleaze, this is what I'm painting today. It's a rooster. Uh, it was uh, Pickwick One's idea. Um, so thank you for that. Um, and um, what else can I say? Um, I've got the colours over here, sleeves. I'm using burnt umber, crimson red, yellow ochre, titanium white, and lemon yellow. And I'm working in acry mostly acrylics today. And this is my palette. And that's what, part, what part are you doing in watercolours? Well, I'm going to do like, I'm thinking of doing the first layer. The very first layer, like down here where you can see that kind of transparency. Um, I used it just as a first coat, as a first layer. And then I'll do most of the other layers in uh, in, in uh, acrylics. So but there you go. That's what we're painting today. Oh, and I called him Rue. Rue the Rooster. <laughs> very original animal name. No? Is, that, is that a painting of Picker Rick's Rooster? Um, well, yeah, I suppose it is because I paused the video, uh, so I could, um, you know, so I could draw it and I, I paused the video, which is very good that you can pause videos, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, and he's got to pause them and take a screenshot. Well, I don't know how you do that, you see, <laughs> yeah. On, on a computer, you have to you, you have to Google it, you probably could Google it and find out on a on a are you on a laptop? No, I'm on a computer. Well, on a desktop, whatever. Just Google it and you could find out which keys you have to press certain keys and then you could take a screenshot. Right. Okay. I'll have to yeah, I'll have to Google that one. Um to get the proportions right, I really should get a drawing tool for this, but I haven't got one. I use my thumb and my index finger and I'll just look, you know, to see the distance for the neck because they've got long, thin, thinnish necks. And then they got quite a fluffy kind of uh, middle part of them. And then they've got really skinny legs. <laughs> they've got really skinny legs, you know, with all that, you know, all those feathers. So, 
Oh, the part, uh, Goswina tells the part on top of the head is called the chanterelle. Oh. And, uh, wait a minute, did I get that right? No, chan, no, wait, chan, Terrell, Chanterelle, Chanterelle, and then, um, and then Germany Travel says uh, it's a great job. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm happy with this one. I'm happy, sorry. I've been pleasantly surprised. Call it Rudolph. 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 I just thought it was a funny name, you know, Rue. Yeah. Is that the proportion right? I don't know if I got the proportion right on this one. Let's see. I should really actually on, on these live ones, I should I should really draw one out before I do a live. I think. Yeah. Well, Lee Stack Rule says that he says he didn't know Rick got a rooster in his in his new chick in his new chickens and that he said one is named slee stack oh well maybe you're right i did i did see a chicken on his channel and i just kind of copied the basic shape for a chicken and then i thought well uh, i'll put some blue in and then it'll be um yeah he's got some new baby chicks hasn't he he says they've really grown they're growing already yeah i'm getting some quail birds diana some what some quail birds. You're get you're getting some that you're gonna own. I am, yeah. And I'm building I'm building an aviary. Um, I've got all my stuff. I've got oh all my goodness, my really. Yeah, and I started uh, yesterday and today. I'm nearly quarter of the way through uh, finishing the aviary, um, and it's at the bottom left of my of my garden. And then I'm gonna get like a little chicken coop for them as well. And um, Pickerick's advice for the quails was is. Uh, to get the bride, the bride bird out of the quails because that will be a lot easier for me to look after it because I, I don't know why they're easier to look after. I think he said because they're smaller. They're, the, the bride quail bird is more smaller than like the average quail. So so I'm very excited about that. I, I get fresh eggs. Yeah. Whoa. I wonder if quail eggs taste a lot different than chicken eggs. Um. The, the quail's eggs are literally, I mean, I'm not joking, quail's eggs are literally that 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 shape, that small eggs, really small. Yeah. Um, and they used to be considered um, a delicacy way back in, you know, the midst of time. Yeah. They're really, they're really nice. You have to have about a three to make it worth your while because I'm being so small. But, um, but they're easy to cook. They're quite easy to cook, so... So I'm excited about getting some quails. Mm. Oh, uh, Ian says Rooney is a football player. Oh, really? I did not know that, Mr. Jackson. If you've got a painting that you've already done, uh, like with the reference photo, what I highly recommend is you keep looking at your reference photo, whatever subject matter is, and just keep checking, checking the detail. And then, like, if you've got a painting already done, but you want to have another try, uh, keep looking because there's things that you're, that you're going to miss. So just, you know, just keep looking at your, at your artwork and keep looking at the picture that you've painted too. Yeah. Does that make any sense, Diana? Yes. Good. <laughs> so I'm going to take my lovely mermaid uh, paintbrush. This is Royal and Nanical Mermaid. My little niece loves these brushes because they're shiny. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I'm going to wet this entire area. And because this is 100% cotton, uh, the paper, the paper can take a lot of water, which is another, you know, that's a really, really good thing. I'm just making sure I've got the proportions right here before I carry on. Yeah, I got the the chicken and quail eggs taste the same. They do, yeah. They're, they're, they're not that different. Not hugely different, anyway. Um, and you can see when the surface is shiny, like that shine there, that means you've got enough paint, uh, you've got enough water on the area. That, now, you don't need any more water if it's shiny. 
So there's a little tip for you. That's a watercolor, though. That's a watercolor um, technique, though, right? It is. Um, but I kind of, I'm very new to acrylics. I don't really know what I'm doing with acrylics. So I just kind of, you know, do my best with it. But look at that color, though. I mean, mm -hmm. acrylics are really vibrant. I love them. So how is everybody in the chat? What? <laughs> well, I've been trying. I've already been keeping you up with it, keeping you up to date. Because I, what Ian said about Rooney is a football player, and um, quail eggs and chicken eggs taste the same. Yep. Cool. I can't wait to get my quails though. And I'll tell you what inspired that: the coronavirus. Because I thought if you get a regular supply of eggs, you can, you know, you can eat them. I don't think I'll sell any though, but I don't know. I haven't got that far yet. Oh, oh, Germany travel has to leave. Germany travel says I have to run. I have to run, but I am so glad that I had um, found this channel, and I will be watching more. Thank you. Thanks, Germany travel. I, I'm checking. I'm going to check out your channel too. Thank you. Very much. I did a channel review of it today, but I mean, look at watch your videos. But yeah, bye, Germany travel. Bye. I'm just having another look at my chicken uh, yep. right. oh hi mr unigon sorry hi mr unigon hello mr she's coming home from work so she'll be so she can't read she can only hear what we're saying until she gets home oh that's okay safe driving so i'm gonna let this entire area this is my next job this is the first layer on the rooster's body so and then I'm going to go in for my uh, lemon uh, uh, yellow ochre. I love the vibrancy in the acrylics. I never thought that acrylics were as vibrant as they are. Oh, yeah, they are, yeah. I was um, really pleasantly surprised. And what uh, for the feathers, we'll be using the... Uh, We'll be using the dry brush technique right there. Yeah. That works really, really well with the appearance of feathers coming down. Because they're quite long feathers on the neck and on the body. And then they've got the nice contrast of these feathers being in slightly different colour. And I did that one in a slightly different brown. I think that's like a Van Dyke brown colour. Um, and then for the eye... Uh, I just use some uh, titanium white and a little bit of titanium white on those feathers there. Um, so, yeah. Limited palette, guys. Limited palette. Yeah, limited palette is a good thing. I always hear good things about limited palettes. Yeah, I try and use a limited palette most of the time. Otherwise, you get overwhelmed with colour choices. <laughs> yeah you can but those colors you can mix anyway i don't know i think you could still be overwhelmed because you could be mixing all different colors yeah i mean and, among that limited palette you're 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 mixing colors yeah and ultimately if you're mixing your colors you'll become a better artist because you'll be able to to mix your colors properly right and that's, my, that's my least favorite part i i don't like mixing colors yeah, I just like, uh. <laughs> I, I quite like it, actually. I, I love, now I love the stave wet palette because so many times you don't know how much acrylic to put out and then you know if, and then you put out too much and then it and then it dries up and you wasted it. So I, I'm so I love the stay wet palette so much that I'm not waste I'm not wasting acrylic paint. Yeah, that's true. And, and I don't have to worry like, oh, I mixed too much of that color and yeah. I didn't make enough of this color and yeah. I'm just having I keep having a quick look at this painting just to see the direction of the feathers and where everything's placed. It looks like it's about to lay an egg, doesn't it? <laughs> but it can't oh, because well, Ian was saying that there are some male species and different an of different animals that do watch eggs. Ah oh, yeah, uh, I do know penguins do. The penguin, uh, the dads that are penguins, they very often look after the chick, you know, the, uh, 
the chicks whilst the uh, the dad will stay at home and sit on the chi on the uh, what are baby penguins called? Oh, I don't know. Are they called chicks as well? Hi, poor Shannon Show. I don't know that. Oh, right, we got a new well, not a new person in, but there you are, uh, Shannon. That's what I'm going to be painting today. Maybe. Welcome to the live stream. There he is. There he is. He could be sat on an egg, Ian. You might, you might well be. <laughs> he might well be. And it's going to dry really fast today because it's quite humid here. Mm. Um, so it will dry. I've got my hair dryer just in case, but it's really humid here, actually. I was thinking in humidity things might not dry dry fast i thought oh. yeah, the heat it does but i thought in humidity things stay like yeah we're all like it's all moist and stuff yeah i have no idea no idea our resident walking encyclopedia will now <laughs> walking encyclopedia were you ever an encyclopedia salesman, Mr. Jackson? <laughs> oh, look at that blue. That blue is just beautiful. I love the blue. Look at that, Diana. Look at that blue. Wait, the blue? Oh, yeah. no. I think it's cobalt blue. I didn't know that they had bluish feathers. They do, yeah. They have, um, they have brown blue with a little bit of green sometimes. Oh, I thought they had red feathers. I, I think never, it depends on. I never observed one good enough to know that. So well, I mean, the ones others there really were. The ones that this one that I'm painting is um oh what was it I was thinking of? It's gone again. Hold on. Um, it's a uh, oh don't you hate it when your mind goes blank? Yeah. Oh man, I guess so. Uh, Road Island Red. There. Road Island Red Rooster. Oh, that, oh, I see. It, it's kind of based on Pickerick's Chicken, but it's also based on the Road Island as well. I kind of, you know, I kind of put the two together. Rhode Island, the smallest state in our country. Oh, okay. In the United States, Rhode Island is the very smallest state. Oh, okay. The small state and the biggest state. Well, in the continent, in the continental United States, that would be Texas, but Alaska is larger than Texas. Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, I keep looking at the direction of feathers and where these feathers are going. And it's just, uh, and as you can tell, with this being posh paper, you can layer, layer, layer. I did about four layers on here, Diana, yeah. on, on the body in particular. Uh, so that's nice. I was very proud of that one. Oh, hi, JCC. Welcome to the live stream. I'll just share this again. <laughs> JCC, that's what I'm painting today. And it's a Road Island Rooster. It's kind of based on Pickerick's uh, chicken, but I've also looked at Road Island, uh, Road Island Red chicken, I think they're called. Hey, I'll have, when I get my quails, Diana, I'll have to paint them. Yeah, you will. That would be cool. Well, I've got, I've basically, I've got an aviary where I've just started to, you know, to put the aviary together uh, for them to live in. But I'm also getting them a chicken coop as well because I thought it would be really, really um, good idea to have both. Yeah, to, like to protect them, right? Yeah, yeah mainly, yeah, because I get foxes here. Um, oh, oh well, well that's perfect box food yeah um i didn't really i didn't know if i should put up an electrical fence i don't know i don't know well i guess you'll find out it might, I guess I'll find out. It might be enough i don't know if you're going to need an electric fence i have no idea i'll see how it goes <laughs> we'll see how it goes Ooh. so i'm going in for like that brown color Bit like a Van Dyke brown. You know but it's I mean? never going to be too cold for them outdoors. I hope not. Um, I have no idea. I'll have to study it a bit. I think. To, to... 
to get the information. But I started building the aviary yesterday and today, so it won't take too long for me to build it. Because when I had guinea pigs before, uh, I made the aviary then because we kept the guinea pigs outdoors back then. Yeah. Um, but since we had the beast from the east, that really bad snowstorm a couple of years ago, it was really bad and we couldn't keep the guinea pigs outside because they were like, you know, they were really ill with it being so cold, so. Hello, Rosalie Benedicto Sheldon. Welcome. So nice to see you. Hello. Uh, Rosalie. Your name's Rosalie. Rosalie. Hello, Rosalie. There we go. I'm painting a rooster. She's another great art, art channel. She does wonderful paintings. Awesome. Okay. I'm, I'm, dropping, I'm dropping JCT's link. Okay, cool. I'm just going to dry this layer. Uh, so I can get working on my uh, my dry brush technique. Where is my hair dryer? I really should get a craft tool, but uh, I use my hair dryer for now. There we go. That's dry night. And then I'll just have a look at this picture again. Yeah. Uh, see, there he is. Oh, that's hot work. That off. Cool. Goodness gracious. Good Rosalie says hello, Gaslina. Hello, Gracie. Hello, Gracie. Hello, guys. Oh, Chrissy says looking great, Gracie. Thank you very much, Chrissy. I've just got your Facebook message, but uh, I'll get back as soon as I've done the uh, the stream. Thank you very much, Chrissy. Now you Thank do have a lot of paper. Like, do you ever think you're going to paint a background on that? Well, do you know, I never. Well. With my watercolour, my background is usually really, really bad. Um, so I've kind of been put off doing backgrounds. So but I, I, I didn't know what to do, really. I mean, I could do, but I don't want to ruin it. So maybe that could be my oh, next. Oh, you could just trim it down. You could cut your paper. I think that's what I'm going to have to yeah, do. Yeah, that would be a good idea. You could do that. We could do that instead. Because there, uh, look, because. I kind of, I should have cut that down on that mom because it's a very big sheet of paper. I don't usually work on such big sheets, but I kind of, I wanted to think outside the box, you know, try something a bit different, a challenge, kind of a challenge to paint on. I mean, with this one, again, I can cut the, I can trim the paper. Yeah, but, you need to trim the paper, either put a background or trim the paper because that yeah. looks not balanced with, with too yeah. much. And, and, and to be completely honest with you, if you're doing this, if you're if you're following on after the replay, don't put it there. Don't move it over a bit. <laughs> put him, you know, put him sort of middle. I would have put him in the middle. But because I get nervous on camera, I make these little mistakes, but I'm getting better at being on camera, aren't I, Diane? Ian has a nice idea. He said, add splashes of color in the background. But uh, you, that probably would make you nervous. It, it might make me a bit even more nervous than I already am. That's, yeah. a, good, that's a good suggestion, though, Hello, Hello Templars, Templars Internati. Templars Internati. Hello. Welcome. And um, let's see. Well, I, you seem, I think you're new to you're new to this stream, so welcome. Every Everybody welcome. Uh, Templars Internati. Oh, I'm going to struggle with that name. <laughs> I'm terrible for pronouncing names. I really am. Sorry, guys. Please hit the thumbs up, Templars. If you just came in, everybody, please. Oh, yeah, there's some people that came in. Please hit the thumbs up, trying to get to 20. Trying to get to 20 thumbs up. Let's get That's to the goal. Come on, guys. No, Paul today. Oh, he, I, I know he could still show up. 
they, people just because they don't come at the beginning doesn't mean they're. I think a lot of times people come at all different times. We'll say. Yeah. He's he's pretty. Oh, cool. Carrie. Oh, Carrie, Carrie. Carrie came into the chat is a with, under a new name, Templars Internati. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. They are well, Carrie. That uh, I can't pronounce that other person's name, so I do apologise. But hello and welcome. Uh, this is what we're painting today, guys. If you just joined us, Mr. Roo, the rooster. Yeah, I love this painting, Diana. I'm really liking the feathers. Uh -huh. um, yeah, the feathers turn out good. Yeah. Yeah, because they're tricky to paint, you know. Yeah, they um, are. Now. And I don't want to be too fussy about it. I don't want to sit there and just like. I know I sound like Mr. Jackson here, but he's quite right. You don't want to say, I mean, it depends on how you like to paint. Yeah, you like to paint. Some artists, they, they like to yeah. paint. They like yeah. to do all that. Um, I mean, Anna Mason, the English artist, she always uses a very, very tiny brush, which is absolutely fine. Um, but I don't really like working with very tiny brushes because I end up fussing too much. And then because you fuss too much, you kind of wreck your painting, so and it looks awkward. Um, so for this one, I mean, I did need a relatively small brush to get those extra, like on the neck there, where the feathers kind of come outwards like that. And then it carries a beautiful and she loves those flowers. Thank you very much. Yeah, and they're just Derwent acrylics. You get 12 or 10 colours in a pack. And then I bought the cheapest palette that you can buy. This was 50 pence in English money on Amazon. And there was no postage, no, no postage cost. And you get one, two, three, four, five, six. You get six wells. And they clean really easily. And that's another thing that I like about acrylics and watercolours. It's because they're water-based mediums. So they, they wash, you know, they wash out pretty well. Would you say that, Diana, about... Acrylics being quite easy to yes, yes, yeah. because they're water soluble. And we don't need to, we don't need uh solvents, we don't need solvents, no. like oil paint, like oil paint or encaustic. Yeah. I can't use encaustic unless I have proper ventilation. And with acrylic, yeah. with acrylic, um, well, with acrylic, I, I, I don't really, I don't have any problems. I mean. I don't have to paint with a window open, like alcohol inks. Oh, I can only paint during the warm, the warm season because I do definitely need a window open or I get a headache. Do they smell? Oh um, my goodness. They will. I, so I'm in a small room. If I do like just like normal alcohol ink painting and, and then even keep closing up the caps each time and then do that, the place, this room, oh, um, powerful very very much alcohol ink smell and when i i will get a headache so i do have to have a, it's it's i have wind i have to have a window open so oh, in the cold weather i've not been able to paint too much with alcohol ink. oh yeah i have a respirator i was wearing a, respirator a couple times when i did paint alcohol ink during the winter and the respirator will help me oh my goodness i have no idea wow and is it like a, an unpleasant smell it just smells like alcohol, like rubbing alcohol. It oh, smells like not the alcohol you drink. It smells like rubbing alcohol, you know, okay. like like rubbing alcohol. Very strong smell that it will start building up in the room. I know, I, I know what you mean. And some people are really sensitive to it on their hands, or some people are sensitive to this. I mean, it's not healthy to keep smelling it. So that's why um the vent you need you. I definitely need ventilation because I tried I tried it before not having the window open and I and I got a really bad headache. Yeah, I can imagine actually. I got um when I first started watercolors, I tried water mixable oils and I only tried it one time, but oh my god, whatever was in those paints, I I felt awful afterwards. Um what paint was that? It was water mixable oils. Oh, you didn't like this. Oh, the, the smell no. bottle. And and for some peculiar reason, it made me feel really quite ill. Uh, like um, a bit like uh, when you feel uh, dehydrated, when you get like a headache, dizziness. Yes. Feeling kind of a bit sick as well. Um, it was awful, so I never touched them again. No, oh, yeah. I didn't. I didn't enjoy that that, that experiment. 
well, I wasn't, I didn't really, you know, I didn't really find that. I think my favourite mediums are probably watercolour and acrylics because they're very, they're a forgiving medium for the most part. Mm. Sorry, am I, am I, am I rambling? No, I'm, I'm reading a comment. I'm trying to read a comment. It's a long comment. But what were you saying? What was I saying? That's a very good question. Uh, oh, I, I didn't enjoy working with oils. Basically. Oh, yeah, that's right. So, Water soluble oils. Yeah. So I never tried oils, oils, you know, like the regular. I've tried most all kinds of paint. I, I have I've painted quite a paint I've painted quite a few paintings with oil. I started off painting oil paint. I, my first painting was oil paint. Was it? No, my first painting probably was acrylic, but then after that in high school I painted a lot in oil and college painted a lot in oil. Oh, I didn't know you painted. Oil. I have a Quite, I have a lot of experience in all different paint, encaustic paint, oil paint, watercolor paint, acrylic paint. Uh, then I call what I call mixed media painting, and um, yeah, I love mixed media. I think that's it's it's almost like without being melodramatic about it, but it's almost like freedom, isn't it? Using mixed media because yeah, I do see. I love being able to use collage in my painting too. That's a thing. <laughs> Exactly. Well, there's all different kinds of mixed media painting now. The kind of mixed media painting where you actually can put in collage yeah. into your painting, I, I find that is freeing. That's so freeing and like it gives yeah. a moment of freedom. Uh, and also digital painting, digital painting. So I've just done so many different kinds of painting. Oh, I love that Bono one. That was so cool. That, that just like him. Yeah, that was so cool. I didn't think I got the jawline right. Oh, I did. I thought it was brilliant. I oh, loved thank it. You. You're welcome. I loved it. But then again, I love Bono, so. <laughs> Do you know what? A lot of people diss Bono. A lot of people are very rude about him. And I don't, and I don't know why. Because he does so much for charity. He's, you know, I mean, he doesn't have to, does he? You know. Oh, yeah. There's no. Yeah, I don't know what that is, that, that, that negativity they have, that people, there's some, some people have to bono about his South you know, Park did a horrible, they did a horrible thing on, with about Bono. Do, oh. do, you know, do you know what I think it is, in all honesty? Because he's very generous with his money. They made it sound like he was so, he, that he, that he thought he had, that he thought that he's so ego egotistical they made him sound like he's uh, on south park they made it sound like he he was so egotistical i i don't i don't think i don't to be honest i wouldn't call him egotistical a test of oh, however you say it um i think people are very jealous of him because he's um he's got a lot of money and he can help uh, a lot of charities like the african charities um you know uh build a well fund in africa all that and i think people are jealous because he can do that amount of help because of money i think it's jealousy i really my, do. my, my pittsburgh art studio thank Hello, you for, been around for a while Hello. I, i'm sorry i hope we're not boring i mean i don't know we're boring. <laughs> sorry guys anytime you want to jump into the conversation pittsburgh art studio sorry if we're talking uh, talking too much and Whatever. I mean, it's my fault. If we, if we could involve you, in, if you could, if you, if we, um, somehow if we could interest you in the conversation, and we could. Okay. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> this might be a, a fun topic. Who inspires you in art? And she um, says, "No, not boring." Okay. Bye. Bye, Pittsburgh Art Studio. So nice to see you. Thank you very much. Thank you for stopping. Who inspires you in art? Yeah, who inspired oh, current inspirations? My inspirations have changed over the years. I do not have the same inspir I do not have the same artistic inspiration um, that I had several years ago. It's different. I there's some current artists right now that inspire me. Ah. There are three women, three different women artists that I've taken. I've actually taken their online classes, and I'm very inspired by their work. Yeah. That sounds good. Who, who inspires Mr. Ian? Who, who does um 
Yes. Cassine milk paint is one of his favorite paints. Oh. What brand? No, I think it's a it's a kind of painting. I think it's it's like along the same lines as as tempera, but it's made oh. with milk. It's made it's a paint made with milk. Cassine Cassine milk paint which I think is something along the lines of temper, which is made with egg yolk, like the traditional temper paint is made with egg yolks. So yeah. Um, yeah. I think he's talking about a paint that a certain kind of like ancient kind of traditional paint where they, uh, where they make it with milk. Ah, yeah, I have heard of, I've heard of the egg temper. Um, Egg temper, one thing I've never tried. Regular, I mean, just commercial. I mean, the temper that they make nowadays, I've used because that's what that's what you use with kid, elementary school kids is tempera. You don't use yeah. acrylic because that costs too much and it also stains your clothes. That's true. Yeah. Well, but tempera is what you tempera and watercolor is what you use for elementary school kids. Yeah. yeah. What about um, craft paint, like? Uh, like well, craft paint. paint is along the same lines as it's it's more expensive than temper paint. Craft paint's along the same lines as as is along the same um as in in the art education um catalogs for ordering stuff. The craft paint like costs like you know more than temper paint. Yep. And I suppose a craft paint is is kind of pricey isn't it no no acrylic is good for um middle and high school and but it is um it no it stains your clothes uh, yes that's yeah i can i can understand that. yeah it's an emulsion paint that's that's the word uh, ian said uh -huh. the casein milk paint is an emulsion paint emulsion it, he says it was you. It was used before egg tempera. Oh. oh yeah, and the most ancient form of paint, which is the one that I've I've painted, is encaustic wax. Beeswax encaustic paint is actually the one, the most ancient form of painting, and I I have a lot of experience painting in encaustic paint. Oh well, I did not know about that. To be quite honest with you, I did not know. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of stuff I don't know. <laughs> a lot of stuff I don't know, but I don't say I don't know. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I didn't know that. Or other times, I, other sometimes I say it, but other times I just won't say anything that I didn't know it. Yeah, yeah. I I should keep quiet more often. <laughs> uh, I don't know. But anyway, I've got. I've got half of my Avery all set up, just about it. I've just got halfway through. Um, and yesterday and the day before, I've made my own compost compost for the first time ever. But that, that's um, a long-term process. I know, but I love gardening. The compost so. pile is not ready right away. You have to wait for it to ferment, right? Yeah, and I put on as much stuff as I can. And keep um, it away from the house. Absolutely, yeah. Oh yeah. My mother made the mistake. She's a she was an experienced gardener, but I don't know what she did. One year she made the mistake of making the compost pile too close to the house and she got rats in her house. Oh, that, oh, that's bad. Oh dear. No, I've done it right at the bottom. Oh, mm -hmm. hi one mighty R. Welcome. Hello, one mighty. Good to see you. Good I hope you know, one of your live streams, one mighty R. Yeah. This is what I, I know, know. like I, I I try to keep an eye out for it. Yeah, that's what we paid today. Like, oh, one lady R, I noticed you haven't been making videos. You do you're doing live streams instead of videos. Because oh. I, I went to the channel and I said, Oh, yeah, let me catch up and let me catch up and see what videos he has. And I'm like, no videos. I mean all live streams that you've been doing. Oh. I mean, look at this red, Diana. Oh, he did live streams on Friday. Okay. Oh. I do too. I hope it's not the same time. I do 4 to 6 p.m. Um, every Friday, so I, Eastern Standard Time, so I'm not sure when you do. Mm. Mighty does live streams now. Wait a minute. How? 
How cool is that? Oh, that's Carrie saying that. All right. Ah. Hello, Carrie. What's Carrie yeah, saying? We know about the cave paintings, but we're talking about the Foyum F A F A Y U M paintings, and their tradition in art history, they're considered the most ancient. They're, they're considered the most ancient form of painting. You can look it up. It's the F A Y U M paintings, and they're they're calling them the most ancient form of paint, the encaustic. Yeah. So when I come to do an area of the painting, all I do is I wet my brush, then I'll go into the paint and I'll just get a little bit at a time and then I do that to get rid of the bead of water. So because if you get a bead of water that splodges, you, you know, you don't really want that. So, Or you can just dab it off on a bit of um, kitchen roll. Okay, one mighty R is 6.30, 6 6.30 Eastern Standard Time on Fridays. All right. Cool. I guess I'll write that down. Good idea. Well, I'm glad I was able to come on, Diana, because at one point today, I thought I'm not going to be able to get oh. on. Nightmare. Absolute nightmare. And, and, it, good, and it just started today? Well, yeah, that particular problem, yeah. <laughs> it was awful. I couldn't get into my Facebook, I couldn't get into my Google Hangouts, and I couldn't get into my uh, YouTube. Yeah, I, I don't know what was going on. Mm. It's a YouTube... And you powered off your computer and powered it back on? I did, that, yeah. That's, that's that. usually one way to fix a lot of problems. Yeah, I, I did do that. I did that twice. Um, so, touch board, I hope it stays relatively okay. And mm -hmm. wait, you were having problem logging on also, like YouTube, Facebook, and? What, and that Google was? Hangouts, yeah, all of them. All of them. That See, that yeah. see, that's not a problem with them. That's something else, like connection problem or your computer problem. Yeah, I think that's what Ian said um, in the message. Yeah. Mr. Jackson knows a lot of stuff. Yes. Hmm. I, I, I can't see the chat, guys. So Diana's very kindly reading it. I know. I'm pretty much keeping you up with keeping you up to date with chat. Hold on, hold on. Now let me let me scroll up. Cause now let's see what I miss. Take your time. No problem. Thanks. 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 Thanks.
Am I your little helper, guys? Yeah, she's asking, is, is she still your little helper on Fridays? And Diana. If she has an open invitation. Yeah. You have an open invitation for Friday. Yeah, I love being on panel. <sighs> that was a big sign. Sorry, guys. I was live today and I didn't know any trouble. Yeah, with nobody. I don't think anybody else has been having trouble with Facebook or YouTube. So uh, something like I don't know. You have to check with your connective your connectivity thing. I will have to check things. And if the problem is only today, then that's that's good. Then that's good. And if it continues day after day, then that's when you got to really check it out. Yeah. Oh, um, and Carrie says, I love arguing in art live streams. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know, Carrie. I think you might be the only one that would like to see arguing. I'd like to see arguing. Well, here. There must be the second only one. <laughs> I think it, a lot of people get turned away and they'll leave. Hey, actually, Ian and Diana, you should go to Iron Dogs Friday night live at 8 p.m. Uh, is it Eastern Standard Time? Yes, he's Eastern. He's Eastern. Uh, at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time because he's got a fighting channel where if you've got a beef with another channel, you can go on his panel and fight it out. You yeah, but the there. other channel has to be there, right? Yeah. yeah. Right, right. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I think it's nasty. Yeah, you should, get, you should go and ask. No, no, I'm, no, no, no. I don't think I like things like that. <laughs> no, oh, no, yeah. only no. See, I don't like that. I don't like that stuff that's too negative like that. Well, I think he's right though. I am done right because you don't want to have arguments in somebody's chat, you know, because it's just kind of people get vindictive. And but if you have a fight on a, on on a, on a on a panel, you know, like face to face kind of thing, I think that's a really really good idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do. I do. Thank you. Corey saying that's what group panels with Ian and Gracie should be. Yeah. Diana, LOL. <laughs> I don't know what she's saying. Uh, I, think, I think she says we should all go and uh, argue. So, oh, yeah, and now, now Ian's saying, no, I have got a Jaffa cake to come in and, and read that. I, and to read the chat. Oh. No, it, I have got a Jaffa cake. <laughs> oh, oh, don't talk about a Jaffa cake. I have a Jaffa cake to come in and read the chat. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, you guys crack me up. I do enough arguing with my dad. <laughs> oh, hi, Ben Yard. I don't yes, know nice, to see, nice to see you. I don't see you often. Hello, Ma. Oh, and he does confirm it's a Rhode Island Red Rooster. Thank you very much. He I likes think. it. Yeah. He did, he did two thumbs up. It, it's kind of based on two on two birds, Pickerick birds and, and a Rhode Island Red. Yeah. Oh, Carrie wants to come on panel. Oh, do you want an argument, Carrie? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. We, we could argue about religion. <laughs> that's always a fun topic. <laughs> oh my goodness, are you? That's an explosive topic. <laughs> oh yeah, and where Mr. Jackson? And where, politics. And where Mr. Jackson gets started? It's all about the trapper. It could be a oh, very nice gone home now. Oh, who's going home? Oh, Mr. Unigon. Remember, she leaves work and then she I puts do, do. on listening. And then she, when she gets home, she lets us know. And then and then she's able to watch watch the chat. I think then. I do. I I I remember. I remember. Oh, and then Carrie says she loves talking about religion and politics. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Yeah. Who? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I like talking about it with people that agree with we oh, with yeah. each other. Yeah. I, know, <laughs> I like talking about religion and politics when when we don't agree with each other. I hate that. Yeah. 
isn't it funny if you do the same painting twice how they come out slightly different oh I'll, yeah or it could yeah. be a lot of, sometimes it's always yeah. a slight it always going to be different yeah it's funny it's only slightly different mm. i think i prefer my first chicken because because you know me when i'm on camera i get a little bit um, and I think that does play a part in my uh, finished painting, but I'm getting much better at being on camera. So I like it when yeah. people are nice, even when they disagree. Carrie says, "Yeah, true." Oh, I wonder if Rosalie's still here. Oh, I haven't been talking in a while, so I guess she just. Oh, I wonder if One Mighty R still here. He's probably listening. How many of you are just listening and watching? How many oh, are watching? Thumbs up. Please give a thumbs up if you for, if you if you forgot, please give a thumbs up right now. Trying to get got a goal to get here of 20 thumbs up. We yeah. have 15 right now. Awesome. Give that 20 thumbs up for boo, my booster. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> People are so childish sometimes. It's five oh. past seven. Oh, oh, oh Mystic, I mean, uh, One Mighty R still here. He says, hi, Mystic. And then Old Buzzard Bait, welcome. Hello. Hello, Buzzard. And I know Buzzard's channel. His channel's fun. Yeah. He's got good spirit. Gus uh, Moon is here, still here. Who's still oh. here? Oh, Gus Moon has, 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 has a question. Yes. Did you ask Gracie if she is going to try to paint the flower that I, I built? Do. Yeah, I built it. Yeah. It's a, because Rena's got some beautiful pictures of her garden on Facebook. And I came across one of her flower paint, um, not paintings, photographs. Um, really, really nice. And it was a bumblebee. It was a bumblebee on a flower. And it's a really good photograph because sometimes. You can't always see the bumblebees that are on the flower sometimes because their wings are kind of downwards. But she got a really good picture where you can see the whole bee. So I can paint another bee. Oh, yeah. Picker Rick's here. Hi, Picker Rick. Hello, Picker Rick. Oh, Hello. 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 Uh, so for the people that have just joined us, hello, hello. This is a, a, a rooster, and this is my third. That was my uh, original. Uh, bird and uh, and if people are wondering about why he doesn't have any legs um basically because i positioned the drawing wrong and i should have theoretically put the chicken like more in the middle i'm not used to working on such large sheets of paper so so if you're at home and you want to give this a try i really highly recommend that you get your proportions right um but i mean you know these things happen when, when, you say that, when you say proportions, you mean you have yeah. the proportions of the bird, right? Yeah. Don't you? Uh, just like where you're going to put the bird. Uh, on the paper. You mean placement on the paper. That's it, yeah. Um, what I'm trying to say is if you're doing this at home and you're following along after the after the, the replay, is that what it's called, replay? Yes. Yeah. Um, put the bird more to the middle of the painting because it just looks less awkward that way. But as I said, I'm not used to these big sheets. Um, but I'll keep that in mind for my she, um, she has a choice of painting a background or just trimming, cropping it, cropping it too, yeah. and then cropping it. So, and a lot of artists work like that. And afterwards, they crop it to what looks best. Do you want to vote for it in the chat? Should we? Should we? Oh, do hello, that? Comic Art. Nice to see you. Hello, guys. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Thank he you. makes little. He makes really short little anim cute animations. Oh. I mean, they're like little. They're like monsters and stuff. Wow, that's very. Uh, that's very cool. That's one area that I'm not very good with. Uh, what is it? Gaming? Did you say? No, no. Animation. Animation. Yeah. I, 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 the animations are really short. They're because an, there's a very labor intensive. So his. His videos are like five seconds long. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. What, what? 
Oh, please hit the thumbs up. Trying to, we got a goal here of 20 thumbs up. I think we're gonna make the book, we're gonna get the goal. Me um, 18 thumbs up already. Now, if I did this painting again, if I look at the original one again, I know this gets a bit, you know, tedious when you keep showing the pictures. But I positioned the feathers of this painting much better position than I have on the second one. So also keep that in mind. Um, but, you know, these things, I mean, if you're an artist, you're learning. You're constantly learning. Do you agree with me there, Diana? I'm, I'm sorry, Carrie makes long comments. <laughs> I'm trying to read her her long comment. Wow. Oh, say that again. Uh, well, like for the second picture that I've done, I've 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 messed up the position of the the feathers here that are sort of swooshing over to the side, as where well on my original one, the that's a better. That's a better. Uh, oh, isn't that? Isn't that? That's kind of frustrating because you, you want your second one to turn out better than your first. Absolutely, but See, you know, I do like the I like the way you painted the feathers on the first one better. Me too. You see, that that that's the difference. I mean, the back feathers, the blue feathers. You see, the difference to painting on your own in in your art room or in the living room. You're on your mm -hmm. own, and you do, you know I oh, I get really. You know, I get really nervous still on um, on panel, and it does affect your art. But I mean, I think I'm getting better at it, aren't I, Diana? I think. Yes, yes, yeah. I think definitely. you're less nervous. Oh, oh, Pickery yeah. says it looks beautiful. Oh, thank you, Pickery. How's Elvis today? Mm. Oh, and then One Mighty R says looks awesome, Gracie. Oh, thank you very much, One Mighty R. Oh, it's okay, Carrie. You can make long comments. It's not you. It's not. It's not, it's not you. It's not a problem. It. It. No, it's okay to make long comments. No, wait, wait. Look how long Nightbot's comments are. Oh, is that <laughs> Nightbot never stops. <laughs> when when we all go to bed and stuff and switch off for the day, Nightbot will still be here. <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay. We got 20 thumbs up, and Ian goes, puppet dance. Oh, and you have to get up on the chair on this one, Diana. No, that's that's how I don't do puppet dances on the chair. Oh, okay. That's okay. a different kind of dance. That's, oh, a, that's a happy dance for when somebody joins as a channel oh, member. Oh, okay. When they join okay. as a channel member. When, I, when I'm at school. Not I'm at school. Description. Oh, hold, oh, sorry. Let me just explain this. Not as a subscriber. If everybody noticed, next to the subscription button, subscriber button, there's a, a button for join. And um, YouTube rolled out randomly to random channels the opportunity to become a, a membership channel. So you don't have to. You don't have to take advantage of the opportunity. But my um. A friend of mine, she wasn't going to either, but she decided to go ahead with it. And I thought, well, I wasn't going to either, but because she did, I thought, okay, I'll go ahead with it and take advantage of being a membership channel. Yeah. So, oh yeah. So if somebody becomes a channel member, then I that's when I get up on the chair and dance. Ah. Uh, right you. Or maybe if somebody gives. Well, maybe super maybe chat. I'd do it too if somebody gives more than twenty dollars super chat. Yeah, that's a good idea. If they give more than a twenty dollars super chat, or they uh, or they join as a channel member. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's three levels of membership. It's all explained on the but in the join button. And um, when you press the join button, a little video, one and a half minute video plays that I created, a fun little video and. It, and explains the different levels of membership and yeah so and I also, yes. okay okay go ahead um this was last week's this was acrylic and watercolor uh ocean sea that i painted last week um and that turned out really well didn't it that yeah. i was really proud of really pleased with this painting do you know what since i started doing um uh being on your panel painting I've done tons more art than I ever did when I when I wasn't doing videos. So I know um, you're doing a lot of art. You do a lot of you do practice paintings before this live stream. I know, and that's why I'm really frustrated because I, I've I've got the feathers not quite as good as I did on the original. 
But I mean, you know, I mean, that's I know that's frustrating. It's like ah. <laughs> so so desperate times call for desperate measures. So I'm using a cocktail stick. I'm wetting it with water, and then I'm dipping it into the. You've seen me do this before, and it's a really nice little trick. Oh, oh yeah, I forget what. What did you do that for before? You did that for the um, some flowers you painted or something. Uh, I'm just trying to remember. No, that was the bumblebee. Oh it. yeah, the bumblebee, right? Right, because they have very fine hairs on them. Really so what is this? You're painting what with this? Um, it's a toothpick. It's just a regular. Oh, yeah, you're painting with the toothpick, but you're painting what? what? With the toothpick? Just the very fine feathers. Ah, oh, okay. I mean, even though I have this really, really thin, uh, thin brush here, I still can't quite get the. Uh, if I do that, look, you can't get. I mean, that is that is a thin line, but you're going to get better results with the, with the toothpick. Yeah. And you can use the credit card scraper technique, which is where you cut up a bit of, uh, um, you know, um, an invalid card, one that you can just, uh, you cut them up, um, your credit card, and then you can put the paint on it, and then you can scrape in fine details, uh, veins on flowers, mm -hmm. on leaves, feathers even, you know, all those sort of fine details. It's a fun technique. It's nice to try something new. Oh, Carrie says she's made people angry with her long comments. No, I'm not angry about your long comments. No, I'm not you, angry about your long comments. Are you joking, uh, Mr. Ian Jackson? <laughs> I, I love it when Ian starts uh, talking about stuff. It's, uh, it's fun. Don't worry, Carrie. It's fine. Yeah, don't. Sorry, Carrie. No, you, you don't. You don't have to be sorry. No problem. No problem. When I do my own live streams, I don't really have any rules. Um, I'll just say, be kind to everybody, you know. Um, really? And the only time I would ever time out would be if they were being offensive. Um, or, you know, or just being kind of, you know. Or if they come in with an offensive name. Exactly. I hide them right away with that. Yeah. There, there they just get blocked. Yeah. I don't have anybody blocked on my channel, um, mainly because, to be honest, it's hard work to have people blocked. It's not worth well, it. And I had Bobby as my mod. Well, I still do have Bobby as a moderator. But when he used to, when he came in my streams a lot, um, well, we, he, he watched it and he saw these trolls come in, and there's a number of people blocked on my channel. Wow. I mean, they're just they're trolls. It's the, it's yeah. a bunch of trolls. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Trolls, trolls, Mostly. trolls. <laughs> um, I can't say they all are. So if you're if you're watching this and it's the replay, just follow the guidelines that I've given the feathers to. They go swooping off to the side, and then they start going that way down to the right this is where i haven't got it right on this one um and then you carry on going down to the left and then you have the little fine feathers on his tummy he's got a nice round tummy this uh, rooster <laughs> uh and then you you start going with the feathers to the contour uh, to the shape of the bird because then you get the nice contrast of feathers kind of you know and I love that red colour. Uh, I think it's crimson red. Is it crimson red? Um, um, yeah, I think I'd call it that. Crimson red? Or, yeah, I'm um, trying to think if there would be another. another uh, I think crimson. No, scar could you say scarlet? It could be scarlet. I think it, yeah. It looks like a scarlet to me. But I think, I wonder if crimson and scarlet are almost the same colour. They are. They're very similar. And I think that one's cold bolt blue, uh, burnt umber, yellow mm. ochre, titanium white, mm. lemon yellow, I think, uh, and cold bolt blue. How do we like my new palette? Isn't it small? It's really nice. I have more palettes than in the palette shop, Diana. <laughs> 
you, you have a bunch of those you have a bunch of different kinds of palettes i do i have another. well you need to stay wet palette i know especially know. for acrylics yeah that's all going to dry out unless you're going to um unless you're going to brush it back into the container and and then if you oh if you watered them down oh no 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 you can't put that back in the bottle it'll make your bottle stink but that you can oh. that by putting a few drops of antibacterial that bacterial soap and shake it up and um that mold that yucky mold smell won't smell in, inside your paint bottles oh oh okay you see i'm a newbie to anything with acrylic so Wow. Wow. I'm, I'm frustrated. Well, basically, I used to do that when I was teaching for the temperate paint. I, oh, yeah, I have tubes. You can, I can't even do that. Most of my most of my acrylic paint are in tubes, so I can't even put them back in. I can't yeah. even put the paint back in. But if you mix it up with water, you don't want to. Uh, isn't most of yours tubes, too? Or, or, well, or, actually, yeah. So you yeah. cannot put that back. Yeah. You Did you order a Stay Wet palette? I've ordered one, but I haven't got it yet. It's a, yeah, it's, a, it's a it's a Dana. Is that how you pronounce it, Dana and Romney? No, I I ordered it. I told you the one that I have is the Masterson Stay Wet Palette. Uh, I'll have to check. I'll, I'll get back to you. That's on that the one I told the told you. So yeah, maybe you went with another brand because you couldn't find the Masterson or something. It is quite pricey. It's about thirty pounds, which is kind of a little bit expensive for me. Yeah. But but I, I will consider getting that particular because apparently, I mean, not that I go buy reviews on Amazon because um, you have to find out for yourself how a product is, but it does get incredibly good write-ups on Amazon, that particular palette. So, there's another, Yeah, there's another way to use it. You can't put that paint back in the tubes, that obviously, and if it was a bottle, you wouldn't want to put it back after you've watered it down. You don't want to put it back in the bottle because uh, it contaminates your paint. But um, you, you can have a paint, you can have like a paint scrapbook where uh, see, but you don't do collage or la that kind of mixed media. But like that's for like if you do collage or uh, collage type of work, and then you have a paint scrapbook and you just paint all the paint pages just randomly, paint pages in there. Well, and then you don't want them to stick together, and then uh -huh. and that's how you get rid of that paint. And but it can be used in the future because they're paint scraps. Oh. Painted pages and the painted pages can like end up looking really cool. Mm -hmm. I'm just having a sip of my water. I'm having iced coffee. Do you know? I've never, I've never, I like the smell of coffee, but I don't, I find it quite strong flavor. Um, but I prefer my tea to be truthful. All right, now I gotta catch up with the chat. Hold on. It's okay, Kat, take your time. Who do we have in the house? Hello, hello, Designs by Cad Pro. Hello, Ben. From this morning. Hello, hello. Oh, and they're excited. They say another live video today. Wow. Yeah, yeah. That Wednesdays, just Wednesdays, I do too. Yeah, Diana's busy on a Wednesday. Designs by Cad Pro. Hello. What, what kind of art do you do? Oh, did I ask you already? I think I, oh, I'm sorry, I probably asked you already. Designs by Cad Pro. Oh no, what, yeah, what kind, of, what kind of art do you do? Uh, designs by Cad Pro? Yeah. Oh, that's right, we had the 20 thumbs up, but I didn't want to interrupt you. Oh, I'm sorry, go right ahead. No, for the, um, because for the happy thumbs up dance. Go on, let's do it. <laughs> I'm nearly done anyway, Diana, so. What? I'm nearly done. Oh, here, Designs by Cad Pro says oil and acrylic, oil and acrylic and oil pastels. Oh, nice. And then Ian wants to know computer, computer aided design as well because of the CAD. Ah. That's what, uh, why, if several, Oh, about 10 years ago, CAD was the big thing. I don't know if it still is. I wouldn't know. And oil and acrylic and oil pastels. Okay. Oh, wait. Mine. I wait. find oil uh, pastels to be quite tricky. Um, I, I didn't have much success with the software. Empty paint tubs and screws. 
Here's another way to uh, use unused paint. So um, designs by CAD Pro says my unused paint, I simply, I simply either buy, I, I buy empty, empty paint tubes and squeeze it into the tube. Oh. I don't know how you squeeze something into a tube. No, I don't. That's, uh, I am, I am liking this bird. Uh, it's much better than if I did it in watercolor, isn't it, Diana? I think quite possibly better. Uh, what, what's better than watercolor? Well, if I did this uh, painting in watercolor, mm -hmm. it would suck completely, <laughs> uh, and I would have thrown it away in the in, in, in the bin. But having said that, I'm actually really liking this one, even though it doesn't look like the first one. It still looks pretty believable. Um, I would have just maybe, I think I got carried away with the feathers on this one. I think I probably maybe put too much feather in there, but, but you know. I mean, oh, you're saying, do I? Do you think that I think that you would have done it better in a than you would have in watercolor? Basically, yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh my life! Yes, I. Yeah, I think I think you did it better in acrylic than you probably would have in watercolor. That's what I think. Yeah, because I love a watercolor. I think you do better. I think you do better in acrylics than in watercolors. Yeah, because it, it's difficult for me as an artist um, in watercolors. It's it's difficult to get that contrast um, with watercolors. Yeah, look at I didn't, and I thought I don't know why I thought that. Look how. You can get the contrast and you're not even trying or something. Maybe. You're able to get the contrast just because of the nature of the paint. Maybe. Yeah. Because I yeah, I know that's that, it must be because it's just the nature of the paint. Maybe, yeah. And 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 uh, um the, the watercolors, as nice as they are, I do still like watercolor Ian, don't worry. <laughs> is uh that they're very transparent, which is which can be quite frustrating for a painter to have that because you, sometimes you end up fighting against the transparency um, by like adding more layers to the vibrancy. Am I making any sense here? Yeah. I think I am. <laughs> yes, that makes sense. I'm getting ready for the happy thumbs up dance. Yay. Okay, it's a happy thumbs up puppet dance <laughs> I can't wait. where's paul when you need him this is his favorite I, I thought paul was going to show up today but hello paul well, he probably he probably had something to do or either that or he's sleeping or had something to do yeah no i understand that's fine you can't expect people to turn up to okay anything. happy thumbs up puppet dance Ooh, dancing time <laughs> There she is. Oh, there's that. That one looks like Nightbot. <laughs> I reckon it's a relation to Nightbot, that guy. <laughs> oh, this is real entertainment here, folks. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, my goodness. How many did we get? 20? Was it 20? 21. Oh, thank you guys. Not very often I get that amount of the... <laughs> Oh, what have you got today? Is that, uh, which one's the, which one's that one? Is that one a, is that, that's not a zebra, is it? No. The blue hippo. Oh, the hippo, hippie the hippo, and a cow. I think this is oh, a, a cow. I'm, yeah, I think. <laughs> Thank you. I like the hippo, he's cute. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um. <laughs> oh, adorable. Right. Oh, 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 oh. Let's just check the time. Ooh. Hey, it's half seven, Diana. I've gone half an hour over time. No, you go till three o'clock. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. No, that's the lady. That's the lady. Go till three o'clock. 
may a numbers may a numbers do not mix I've got I'm your back here <laughs> he was lurking what's that that Paul's here he was he said oh. he was lurking hello Paul <laughs> Hello, Mr. Paul. Is Mr. Jackson still there? Pint Pro Pink Oh, Pink Prozac is here. Hi, Pink Prozac. Hello, Pink Prozac. Hello there. That's my first one. My first uh, chicken rooster. Uh, done with watercolors, but mostly acrylic. And it, uh, my first one was great, which is this one. The second one is okay. But it didn't do as well as my first, but you know, I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm trying to be realistic but positive, Diana, about my art. <laughs> that's good. Wait, Pink Crosby says that's not a rooster. I don't know what she's talking about. Maybe she's, she's talking about the finger puppets? I have no idea. I don't know. That, that she painted, no, Gracie did paint a rooster. Yeah. This is um, a Rhode Island red rooster. And Goswina says, now I get nightmares. From <laughs> the, what, from the finger puppets? <laughs> they're going to give you nightmares? Oh, yeah. Night tremors. Is that what they call them? Night tremors? Night what? Tremors? Night, night tremors. It's if you it's if you can't sleep. Um, and sometimes people have been hospitalized because of it. They, they like permanently whenever they go to bed they have a nightmare and it's called night tremors oh gus we oh grayscale he answered the question that we were wondering he says yes it's the nature of the paint the nature of the paint is correct acrylic is more <laughs> opaque yeah yeah we uh -huh. know that it's more opaque than watercolor and so even when watered down, even when watered down, it's still more more opaque, more well, I'd say more vibrant than watercolors. But even when watered down, or yeah. I guess he says even more opaque than even when watered down. So that's yeah. just for the nature of the paint helps you get more contrast. Oh, I see. Okay, that's interesting. I'm just turning my camera around. Right. Oh, if I didn't say uh, hello, Pink Prozac. I think if I didn't say hello there. No, then, what am I going to do next? Um, I could trim it, but I don't want to do that on camera, particularly. Uh, hmm. I don't know what to do next, Diana. Um, uh, yes. Hold on, let me let me finish reading the chat. Yeah, no Paul says, Gracie, you should have done you should have done the voices oh yeah <laughs> since you're an expert what do you mean you're an expert at oh well um when i'm at work i work two days a week in a school in a nursery and uh, i do finger puppets with the kids oh, yeah. and i put on the silly voices and stuff and they love it they really enjoy it so that's nice thank you mr paul <laughs> I read the uh, oh, I'm shy about that. That's why I could do it. I could do silly voices, but I, I, I was I was shy about I'm shy about it. <laughs> I'd have to do that in front of like 20, 27 kids. <laughs> but they all like Yeah, it. like we like it would be yes, when I did puppet I did sometimes little puppets or finger puppets with it. Um and so I guess I would sometimes make voices, maybe all the maybe I didn't always. But they seem to enjoy it anyway. So more tall feathers like you. I'm being attacked more by tall feathers like you. Like you, other like, like your other one. I love the tail feathers. Bye. I love the tail feathers. Pink Prozac words. I'm being attacked by washi tape, Diana. It's coming after me. <laughs> I'm gonna find a kind of washi tape everywhere. It keeps getting stuck to things. But that's easy, isn't that? This is just cheap washi tape. Easy to peel off, but doesn't it leak under? Like if you were ever painting, like on the edge, doesn't it? Um, uh, doesn't it? Sometimes, but not lately. Not lately. Um, I try not to, you know, kind of paint directly 
I kind of work my way around it really. Oh. oh, Ian says the drying shift in watercolor paint is much longer than in acrylics. And then what you put on wet, what, what you what you put on wet st stays that color when dry in acrylics. Yeah, that's what I I like that better about acrylics. Oh. And now that he's starting to dry, I think he looks better now than he did when he was wet. Mm. That's Ian says I have to be careful because um, this channel is not for kids. Oh gosh, I forgot that. Oh, he must be just kidding. Are you? Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's like people that collect collect dolls. Oh yeah, adults at, collect dolls. Look at uh, Mama Marinda. She, I, I used to keep teasing her because uh, she had a doll that she reckoned was haunted. It was the scariest looking doll. Really, you know, like those vintage dolls. Um, are they vintage dolls? You know, like the really old fashioned. Yeah, yeah. My Irish granny um, in her bedroom, and I'm not joking, she had tons of those dolls, like really scary little dolls, and I would never go in her bedroom. Wow. <laughs> they were really creepy looking dolls. It was like out of that movie, The Shining, with Jack Nicholson. It was that kind of, you know. Well, I used to remember what old um some like old scary movies that you know had the dolls. Yeah. Oh, even some of the some um Chucky the doll. Oh, I remember those. But I remember some scary movies like yeah about like about like evil dolls. Yeah. So who do we have in the house? And well, okay. And then Ian says, "No, it could be seen as enticing kids." It's I collect action. Grayscale says, "I collect action figures, not dolls. I have a row of them." Yeah, they're not called. He calls them action figures, not dolls. <laughs> but my Irish granny, oh my god, they were scary as oh. I'd never go in a room. <laughs> She said to me once, she said, if if I ever die, would you like me to give you the, the dolls? <laughs> I was just like, really? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, those horror says ones that you don't really want. They're so scary. They're really scary. Well, you never told her they're scary? Well, she said, why well, don't you ever go in my bedroom? And I said, because of the dolls. <laughs> they're, just, they're just creepy looking little kind of. I don't know why people like them even. Really. Oh, okay. Mystic Unicorn says, Anthony, my boyfriend is a huge fan of G.I. Joe's and oh. has, got a, has, a, has a bunch and the play set from back, from back in the day. Oh. Oh, Gotswina says, I have 300 cherished teddy bear, teddies. Oh, now I like teddy bears. Wow, 300. Wow. wow. I like the uh, the traditional um, classic teddy bears, you know, like um, Paddington the bear, you know, that kind of, those kind of bears. Yeah. Can you, we can't see your whole painting. Can you push it up a little bit? Push it up. Uh, yeah, now, yeah, that's better. It's on an angle a bit, actually. I know, but we, it was... Oh, now push it over. Now we just, now we don't see much. Yeah. Uh huh. There you go. I need to rejig on my camera again. I swear it's got a mind of its own. If I, I move it, yeah. if, I, if I move it for filming like today, and I get it all in position, and then when I come to sit down just before we start, it, it, it moves. If your your camera moves. Well, I think it must because I set it. Maybe I haven't got it picked up quite well. Maybe I need to. Yeah, it must not, it's not be. It must not be stable. Something about yeah. it is. How is it something moving? I'm not sure. I'll have to. I'll do that tomorrow. Um, I'll have a play about and uh, and see how it goes. 
is that a new is that a new camera stand that you have for your camera? It is, yeah. Oh, because I was yeah. I was t I thought I told you the one that I got because it's really good. It's 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 very good. It's just that I'm not very good at getting the angle just right. It takes a lot of practice to get the. Uh, yeah, but it shouldn't move. Well, I'm not sure. I don't know if it is moving. I think I just need to play around and, and get it better. And position for it. All these things to take into account for a YouTuber. People used to call Ian Action Jackson. <laughs> yeah. Because he says the full name of G.I. Joe is G.I. Action Joe Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Are you, do you guys remember the A Team, the program, the A Team with the. With, oh, uh, yeah. George, with uh, George Capone. I never watched it. Oh, I did. I've watched every single one. And uh, we used to, me and my brother used to have their action figures. We had all the action figures and they were cool. I like those. They were fun. We used to like throw them out the window. These are <laughs> this action figures. Uh, <laughs> my brother's like, yeah, let's throw them out the window. <laughs> Let's throw them out the window. We did, yeah. And poor Murdoch. It's kind of indestructible almost. I know, yeah. And poor Murdoch, one of the characters in the 18, he didn't have an arm because we, we threw him out the window and he, and he lost his arm. Poor fella. Do you, so, do you have a paper cutter? Um, I have that, that right video. now. Um, no, but I could cut it down uh, if I have my scissors. Um, oh, a scissors? You, if yeah. you don't use a paper cutter, you should use an exacto knife and a ruler. Ah, uh, I've got a craft knife. You yeah, a craft could. knife. That's good. A craft knife. I could do. I could try. That's one thing I haven't done on camera. Yep. It's cut a painting. Um, do -do 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 -do. Where are my scissors? Oh. Uh, hmm. I might not do that on camera. I think that will be one for. Uh, oh, this is the other week's painting. Do you guys remember the waterfall? Um, that you was saw the, that, right? Yeah. Well, that was one of your practice paintings. No, this was the actual uh, painting live that we did. Uh, was well, it last week we did I this? I thought you sold it. I did, but I, I, I keep. I do another one. I, I do, and I did another one after, so I had a, a spare one. And then I did another one of these. Uh, I did. I had about three of the same painting, and then there's that one as well. So I like to make copies, and um, because I thought if I don't make copies when I when I sell them, I'm not going to get that painting back. Um, yeah. so, uh, so these are my yeah. My that's what, but that's going to so much trouble. But I guess you think it's worth it, so. Well, you never know, do you? I mean, I never know if I'm going to have anybody buy it. But if I, but if I'm well stocked up on paintings, then you know, doesn't really. Yeah, matter. I I never have doubles of I. Well, let's see. I did a double of the koi fish, mm -hmm. koi fish, a tropical fish. Oh yes, I did do some practice. Just only rarely have I done practice paintings for a live stream about three no. times. I did. I probably. Um, I probably do that too many times, but I mean, it's probably a good idea because I've never had anybody want to buy my art before. So, um, I know everybody. She bought. She sold her first painting. I did. It was about so two weeks ago. Yeah. I think was it was a painting, a cool painting of waterfall. Yeah. I don't know if you guys know about these pencils. Uh, they went in tents. Um, I don't know if you tried them, Diana. The, uh, oh yes, I have some, but um, yeah. I don't use them that often. But yes, I do have those. Yeah, and I've got a couple of the Aquatone by Derwent. No, I think I might go in. I had the ink tent. Yeah, I might. Um, and this one, this one's a Prima. Uh, that one's a Prima one. You know, I mean, if you've got the Prima watercolor pencils. Then you don't really need the Derwents because they're very similar in uh, in the way they work. Uh, 
I'm just going to add a little bit of definition. Oh, you're going to use some watercolor pencil now? Yeah, just to try and help it out a bit with the feathers. Oh, she's adding some detail with uh, ink tents, uh, ink tents or watercolor uh, pencil? Ink tents, yeah, mostly ink tents. They're water soluble pencils. And then, of course, you've got the same brand, Dirt Red, but I've got the regular watercolor pencils. So there's, there's different kinds. So I'm going to go for a. Well, he used, Ian used to be called Action Jackson, but now he's called Jaffa Cake Jackson. Oh. That's Grayscale's calling him Jaffa Cake Jackson. <laughs> and this color is terracotta. A terracotta color. I don't very often paint with that color. No. I'm just going to go over. I didn't do that one on the first one, but, but because this didn't turn out quite how I wanted, I thought pencils would be... Uh, you could use uh, ordinary coloured pencils for this too, to go over the top. Right. Okay, yeah, they don't have to be watercolour pencils, right? Oh, no, they could be just ordinary. And you're doing definition around the face? I'm kind of doing it everywhere. I'm just trying to get a bit more definition in there. I think I went slightly over the top with the feathers, um, but you know what I mean. What do you mean, like too detailed? I think I think I put too many. As well with this one, these are these are finer. They're, they're thinner feathers. I think I kind of I, I didn't do the uh, the finer lines on that, and then on here these are slightly thicker lines to like create contrast in the bird well, so do you think your first one turned out better than your second one i think so yeah but you know these 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 things happen with art um but you know you learn and you learn what not to do the next time so it you know yeah i'm just gonna keep it okay well let's see Oh, 22 thumbs up, okay. Oh, thank you, guys. That's cool. People are very generous today. And I'm going to go in. I bought these open stock, um, which is really good. Hold on. Every time I do another Wait, that was your dad whispering to oh. you? Really annoying. <laughs> I swear. But he whispered. <laughs> I know. He just, ooh. He's being considered by whispering. Uh, that's about all you can say. Oh, hi, Clean Mill TV. Coming to us from Thailand. Wow, it must be really late. Wait, they got 12 hour difference. It's in the middle of the night there. It's like 4 a.m. there. No, 3 a.m. Wow, hello there. Every time I do a live stream, I get a knock on the door. Ugh. So frustrating. What? Do you, my. I might put a sign on the door for the next one. <laughs> Pay no attention to the. To the to the me behind the curtain, Paul is saying. Oh. Pay no attention to it's just really yeah, hold on. Sasquina saying Diana isn't crazy to see the to Diana isn't crazy to, to say the the Terrasona elephant. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna. I couldn't watch to on Tuesdays and Wednesdays because that's when I have my live streams. I'm gonna try to catch you tomorrow, Goswina, if I can. Yeah, it's cool. I like what you're painting. Like, cause I like surrealism. So I like that elephant with that the forest on its back. I think that's cool. Yeah. 
I really, you know, I don't know what's worse, the actual lockdown or being stuck in the house with my dad. <laughs> I don't know which is worse. But it's not like I don't tell them. I tell them everything. Mm -hmm. Hey, One Mighty R is still here. Thank oh, you for being right. here, unless you left and came back and welcome back, or thank you for still being here, one or the other. Welcome back and thank you. Oh, you're gonna, oh, God, Sweeney, you're not gonna be on tomorrow, you'll be on Friday. Yeah, we're gonna try to catch you on Friday morning then. Cool. I'm just kind of playing about here, guys. Just trying to... Sorry about the printing of the packet there. I do apologize much. What color is that? Cool. I mean, Princess, that's Clean Mills TV. Clean Mills TV, isn't it 3 a.m. in the morning there in Thailand? I would think so. Yeah. What, you stay You stay up late? Are you going to stay up all night? No. Oh, he's listening. One Mighty R is listening. He's, he's chilling and sketching. Oh, One Mighty R, you're a tattoo artist, right? Oh, wow. Very cool. So she goes, oh, Clean Mill says, I am editing my music video for today. Oh, oh yes, she, she has a sing, she sings, she does inspiration. Yes, he's a tattoo artist. Oh, oh okay. And that's cool. And Clean Mill says, oh, yeah, it's 2 a.m. Oh, wow. There's not 12 hour difference at 11. Yeah. So 2 a.m. there. Yeah, she has a daily inspirational video where she sings. Um, she says something, she talks about something inspirational and then she sings an inspirational song. Nice, very nice. Uh, daily, every day. She's, I mean, she's doing it during, during the quarantine. Good, good idea. I'm just filling in the areas where I think it needs a bit of contrast. And, well, not contrast, but more definition. I'm flicking the pencil that way. That is so annoying when he knocks on that door. Why? I'm just like, I'm not my wife's dream. Oh, oh, he oh. wants. He wants to get on the computer on his email? Usually, yeah. Which is fair enough, but I've told him all day I'm doing a live stream. <laughs> oh, it's like talking to yourself, Diana. <laughs> yeah, it really is. <laughs> Seriously. Oh. Oh. I swear my blood pressure goes up. Can you zoom up? Or, or can you hold? Can you hold the painting closer to the camera? I can do. We can see, see what you've done with the colored pencils. Let's see what we have done. There we are, gently. I filled in the spaces where there was a bit of color missing, and I've gone in with the, a slight bit of yellow, which is this one. This one is Sun Yellow from the Dirt When Intense brand. They're lovely, really nice pencils, and you can see just there kind of where the yellow is, where it sort of highlighted the brown a bit more. Then I've gone in with this one, this is a Prima, and that's a black colour. This is just a black one for the eye. Um, and then I've used um, violet, um, mainly just matte around here. The feathers are really good. Yeah, they're looking good. Um, and then and that's all I've really done, but it, it, it does make a difference if you use colour pencils maybe as well. Um, so keep that in mind. Oh, so wait a minute. So you, with the colored pencils, you made some of those fine feathers coming off yeah. of. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. that, yeah. That 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 worked out good. Thank you. Those little those little fine feathers coming off. Yeah. That, yeah. They're perfect for that. They're really good. It adds to the realism of it. Yeah. Yeah, because it is hard to get those feathers. So. It's not easy. It's not easy for what? It's not easy to get the fine, the fine details, the thin feathers. It's, 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 yeah, it's kind of tricky. Yeah, that's why it's easier with the colored pencils, right? Yeah, yeah, much easier. 
Okay. You know, and if you use, uh, if you get your colours right, you're going to end up having much more um, colour harmony in your painting. Well, you get colour harmony by using a limited palette. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, and no matter with that limited palette, if you're mixing those colors within that limited palette, it's going to still it's going to still create color harmony. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, Gus Wiener says you can get the fine detail with a very thin brush. Yeah, you can. Isn't that isn't that harder? Uh, you can do. Even though this is a really thin brush, it's a very small brush, even then I couldn't still quite get the very fine feathers. So I thought going with colored pencil for this one. Mm. So I'm going back in with the yellow. So sometimes you would use a, a very fine brush, right? Yeah, it would just depend what you what you want to what you want to use. Mm -hmm. Oh, it looks like Carrie's not in here. Is Carrie still in here? She's been quiet. Uh, oh, I feel bad. Well, I think she stopped writing long comments after I said that, but I, I wasn't really mad about her long comments. I should have read them out loud. It would have been easier for me to read if I just read them out loud. Yeah. No problem there. Just adding in the cover. She says she changes her name a lot because she's on the run for one reason. Oh. Like really? <laughs> and because these are water soluble, you can turn them into paint, which is really cool. And you can see how vibrant those yellows are. I paint. Oh, Gaswina says she paints mostly with fine brushes. Yep, yep, that's the way to do it. Yeah, but I do, I do like to try and uh, and do something a bit different. It's nice to just kind of. Yeah. You don't want to go overboard, because you know you might put too too many details in. Yeah. You can go a bit crazy with detail. You're just hinting at their feathers. And you don't want to fuss too much. You don't want to, you know, you have to know when to say that the painting is done, when you're finished, and just, you know, step away. And then, you know, I think I've done that, Diana. Is that the space you were? Oh, Ian says you can get fine detail with a big brush. It's about the space. It's about the space you are painting and the brush pressure you use. Yeah. So I'm going to make a color list of the colors we use for this painting. I'm going to start doing this on every single. Uh, I'm going to put in the colors so people that are following along will know what colors to use. And then after mm -hmm. I've done the painting, I'll cut it down the middle. Um, and then it might look better being, you know, cut down the middle. And um, you, you used a shade of brown, right? Was that sienna? I think it's burnt umber. Oh. I think. So I'm just going to give you a list of the colours for the people following along, especially for beginners, because it's really useful to... Uh, Load the colors that's burnt umber, yellow ochre, and I used yellow ochre in the first in the first layer, which I quite liked. So that's burnt umber. No, how do I spell umber? Burnt umber, yellow ochre. So that what's that four or five colors? It is one, two, three, four, five, six. Six colors in total. Um, and then for the next color, we're going to go for the red. 
but you, the red that you used probably should have said like it was cadmium red medium or cadmium red light or something like that. Uh, I've, got, I've got the packet here, but it doesn't actually tell you. That's like the, that's like those are the standard reds usually. Yeah. They're called either cadmium red medium, cadmium yeah. red light. I think it's probably um, cadmium red. I think, but I wouldn't. I don't know if you if you go on Google, you might be able to download the when acrylic colours in the uh, in the Google. Mm. You might be able to get the colour information that way. So that's burnt on the yellow ochre. Carmine. Oh, you want to take a vote for next week? Oh yes, please. Good idea. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you. So, just anybody. Uh, so we're asking the chat. Make just make us one suggest. Make a suggestion. Each person can make one suggestion for what for what for Gracie for what to paint next week. Please, guys, that would be awesome. And thank you to uh, Pickerick for uh, coming up with this chicken idea. That was a really good idea. Oh, Paul says, Gracie, knock, knock, knock on the door. Housekeeping, do you want the pillow? <laughs> What's that about? An inside joke? Uh, I don't know, but it's funny, right? <laughs> oh my goodness what's that about paul <laughs> sounds good paul. that sounds like a joke that a running joke that you both have you don't know what I he's know. talking about i find i find keeping up with the chat um can be uh, i'm just trying to oh i know what you mean it's clicked <laughs> uh i'll have the pillow then paul <laughs> I think that's what he said. Oh, okay. We have our first suggestion: a turtle. Yeah. Oh, you might. Uh, she, you did paint sea turtle with watercolor, but you might have a totally different result with painting a sea a turtle or a sea turtle with um a crow. Yeah, I love that idea. Okay, so we have one suggestion: a turtle. Good idea. Um, Bit that down the spell it. That's not cobalt blue. Um, cobalt blue. Why can't I spell it? Cobalt blue. Um, okay. uh, then we have our next suggestion. Yeah. Wait, let me say. Oh, Goswina's is if she wants to do a bird with a off color, she can make a a bird of paradise. What oh. is, a bird of paradise is a flower, isn't it? I know that flower is a, It's definitely a flower. You you can get you can get uh, birds of paradise. Yeah. That's not the name of a bird, though. I know it's the name of a flower, but it's not the name of a bird, right? Yeah, you can get the, the paradise birds are the ones with very very long flowing kind of feathers and in, in in like you know far away places you know where it's really really hot weather yep there are such things as, uh, paradise. Says, um, he said he'd like to see you paint a picture of your dad knocking on the door oh yeah i might put an angry caption with it <laughs> oh she doesn't paint people sorry I don't put, a, put a different choice on paul she doesn't paint people that's one thing I cannot paint. Yeah, so but Ian I says a mouse. Ooh, that's a good idea. I've not painted a mouse before. Yeah. So and I, I said, and I said pink flamingo. Yeah, I like all of those ideas. So the colours for quick recap today we have used Derwin to acrylics, they're student grade and paints but lovely. The burnt umber, yellow ochre, carmine red, I think, question mark on the red, lemon yellow, cobalt blue, please uh, excuse the spelling if I spelt that wrong, uh, titanium white and limited palette. And then we used Derwent Intense. Oh, Ian says you've already, you, you told us your rant of the week. It has to do with your dad knocking on the door. There you go. Oh, every, every, lemon time. No, I've never been really doing it. Maybe oh. I just forget. Well, 
All I know is that it's very irritating. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I didn't mean to do a round. So now, what you, you're just going to choose among all those choices, or what you're going to paint? Uh, I'm just thinking. Uh, do we do we want to put votes in the chat, and then whoever votes for the for the for the one idea, we go with that one for next week. Wait, Paul says, "Oh my God, Diana, I was re re I was re I was referencing referencing my joke, not for what she is going to paint." Uh, what your dad? Oh, you, you mean the dad knocking at the door? Okay, then put something. Put that. Put a suggestion in. Paul, put a suggestion in for what for her to paint next week. I, 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 I can't paint people. That's one area I just cannot paint anything in. But uh, I'm getting better at my art. It, it takes time to develop art. I'm just doing a quick color chart for you. Wait, now you need to pick three of your favorite choices, and then we vo vote on that. Okay, or two so of your, right. either two or three of your favorite, two or three of your favorite choices, and we got to vote on them. Okay, right. So it was flamingo. Um, hey, flamingo, so, yeah, um, turtle, and turtle, yeah, and what was the third one? Jellyfish, yes, that's a good one, yep. Um, that was it, wasn't it? Well, Ian just added the jellyfish, yeah, yeah. good idea. Oh, no, mm -hmm. and that we said bird of paradise. Oh, lovely, really good ideas, guys. So, no, I don't paint my dad. To make it easier, pick two of your favorite. Right, okay. So, that. Uh, do, 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 do. No, that's copy red. Oh, wait a minute, we have to add something. But Paul added, Paul added the, the Shih Tzu dog. <laughs> and they and he got he got that held for review that comment was held for review because of s because of the shit really? yeah oh, wow. oh that's unfair oh well you are a monetized channel There they can go, see not the curse word. They, they they can see later on if they had to review it. They'd see. Well, that's not the curse word. It's the name of a dog. Yeah, true. I know. So there we are, guys. We have two chickens. Two chickens. Two chickens. Oh yeah. So what are your two? What are your two top choices for next week? So that we're gonna vote on it. Right. Okay. Um. So um. Sea turtle. And jellyfish, I'm going to go for. Sea turtle or jellyfish? Okay, yeah. chat. Okay, chat. Uh, we have to vote. Um, do you want it? Now, we, now we're voting. She narrowed it down to two. So do you want her to paint jellyfish or a sea turtle next week? There's my boat, sea turtle. Yay, that's sea turtles. They're so nice, this lovely little ocean creatures, aren't they? I think they're endangered now. I think. Probably. Mm -hmm. Some things are. I should think they are. The second vote for turtle, and that's the person who that's the person anyway who um he's that yeah. one mighty R is the person that suggested the turtle. Right, good idea. Thank you. That's two votes. Yeah. <laughs> two votes, yeah, that's better than no votes. Yeah, it's taking a long time for people to vote. <laughs> well, they have to really think about this? Maybe, yeah. <laughs> Come on, guys. Yeah, I quite like this chicken. This chicken's good. Not quite as good as my first, but it's not bad. No. Look at uh, those, look at all oh, those. Nightbot. nightbot didn't vote no nightbot bad nightbot time out for you young man 
young lady. I don't know whether it's a boy or a girl. <laughs> I think of Nightbot as a guy. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. I, I know a friend, she has a heifer bot because she's all into cows. So hers is a heifer bot. And I'm like, I wonder how she could change the name of it because I didn't like to change the name of Nightbot into something else. Yeah. <laughs> Anthony, uh, Mr. Grayscale painting, he really dislikes uh, Nightbot. <laughs> I don't know why. Mm. Nightbot's kind of useful, I suppose. I think it's useful. Yeah. That's yeah. why I use it. I like it. So. Yeah. I can, I, always, I can always turn it down where it doesn't, it doesn't like announce so often. You can turn down the speed of it. I, I already did turn down the speed of it from a, about a, a couple months ago because somebody was complaining. One person was complaining about it. So I thought, okay, let me turn down the speed of it so it didn't show up so much. Because they say, why is Nightbot spamming the chat so much? So then I turned it down. I turned it slower. Grayscale, no comment. Are you voting? Grayscale, are you going to vote? <laughs> he said no comment. <laughs> that's funny. Nobody, nobody's voted. We only have two votes. Well, that's unanimous then. See to it if it is. <laughs> are you closing the vote? I guess. Okay. <laughs> Wait a minute, hold on. Oh, we have a third vote for Sea Turtle. Grayscale did vote, okay. Third vote. I mean, That's okay. I mean, okay, I'm that voting is closed. <laughs> voting is closed, just two votes. But the, voting, the voting is closed. <laughs> it's well, unanimous for Sea Turtle. When, when we used to do that on Pick on Pickerix, because they'd all like write in the chat on what I voted, there were like tons of votes on that channel. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. So, sea turtle it is, guys. That sounds good to me. Yeah. And it should do pretty well. Um, if it's a yeah, good cool enough to be just laughing. She didn't vote. And, oh. and now Ian did not vote. Oh, <gasps> Mr. Jackson. <laughs> And then he goes, Nightbot is a Diana propaganda tool. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, now it's I a have a marketing tool, I guess. I Marketing. Have any, I have a new drawing board, Diana. Here we are. I have my new board. It's black. And it's what I'll keep my paintings on in future. Well, oh, one of my large all excited Turtle One. Yeah, well, well, well. See turtle it is then guys. He's the one that's he's the one that suggested it and he so, Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you guys. So she'll be painting it next Wednesday, one mighty art. Maybe you'd be maybe you'd be able to be around. Yeah, that'd be lovely. That sounds like a good plan. That sounds like a plan, Diana. Yeah. Let's see what <laughs> this Ian says. I have just I have just nipped out for a donut. Oh, Ian. Yeah, um, out slipped out. Ian, can I have, can I have a donut? He slipped I have, So that's I why he didn't vote because he had slipped out for a donut. I haven't had a donut in a month. Oh my goodness. I have not had a donut in, in probably six months. Oh, I love my donut. I don't know. A long time ago. Long, 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 long time ago. Uh, my brother bought some donuts and they were um, peanut butter in the middle. Oh. oh, was it chocolate on the outside? No, no, no. Just uh, just, a, just a donut and on oh, the inside okay. um, peanut butter. And, oh, <laughs> it was really yeah, yummy. It sounds good. Really yummy. Yeah. Okay. Aldi's donuts, Aldi's donuts are okay, um, but they're not oh, quite. Do, do you have Entenmann? Do you have Entenmann brand? Uh, I don't think so. No, you would know it. You would know if you did. They're they're really good. They're a really good brand of pastries. Ooh. As you know, I haven't had a pastry in again about about a month or something. It's crazy. I have not had a pastry in. I don't even know when. I don't know. A long time ago. Yeah, 
they, they can be very fattening. Um, yeah, they're really fattening. You, I have to kind of, you know, <laughs> I have to put a stuff on the, you know, having a lot of them. Yeah. They can be quite, I like the cinnamon. Uh, I like cinnamon uh, with cinnamon in the pastries. That's really. I eat pizza like, like sometimes, well, every Friday we order out and sometimes it's pizza and sometimes it's something else and whatever I order, it's usually that's fattening enough. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah. <laughs> Paul says Jaffa cakes and now donuts. Jeez. Oh, man. I like donuts. I've got a bit, um, um, I'm having donut withdrawals. <laughs> Ian, you didn't have to bring donuts into this. Oh. That's oh. his backup. His, that's probably a second choice. That's his backup for Jaffa Cakes. Actually, yeah, that's true. That's when he doesn't one. have Jaffa Cakes around, back up his donuts. Uh, but not to annoy Mr. Jackson, but if I had to choose between a donut or a Jaffa Cake, I'm sorry, Mr. Jackson, but I would definitely go for the donut. <laughs> but, you know, I like well, Jaffa Cakes. Wait, Jaffa Cakes are chocolate orange flavored, right? Yeah, I do like that flavor. See, that that's, flavor. I love chocolate orange flavor, mm. especially with dark chocolate. That that's perfect combo. The dark, the dark yeah, chocolate, I love that. And the orange. Because if if you if you didn't know about chocolate orange, if if you were completely oblivious to it, yeah, you would know it. You would know it's good. Yeah, and and they'd be like, really, orange and chocolate? Oh together? yeah, yeah, right. But when you taste it, it's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like heaven. <laughs> yeah. They had this candy. It's in the shape. It's in the size, the exact size and shape of an orange. And you just, and you, and you, and you smack it on the counter and it opens up into slices of chocolate orange. Oh, I love those. Yeah. They are delicious. <laughs> All this food talks make me happy. I know. Now we just started talking about food. I know. <laughs> Every time you go to a live stream, somebody will mention food and then you'll get hungry. <laughs> yep. Oh, how many? Okay, I guess we're almost going to stop. How, how many thumbs up did we get? I, I think, let me check. Oh, yeah, 23. So we hit we I hit the goal this morning. I did really well. I went I went over the goal. Uh, yesterday went way over the goal. It was twenty five was the goal, and I got thirty three. Wow, that's a lot. Thirty three. So great. I got at least got twenty. I got the goal of twenty, and got twenty three. Wow, that's very cool. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, Paul says my father worked at a at a bagel and. At a bake, at a baker and Antimans. Oh, really? Mm, got it. Oh, yeah. Bye, White Mighty R. Thanks for staying. Thanks for staying as long as you did. Awesome. He says, "Gotta go." Keep. Thank you very much, Sean. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Really appreciate it. And I hope you guys like uh, my booster. <laughs> Yes, I, I think everybody likes your rooster. Yeah. Okay, bye again, my mighty R. Bye, guys. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. I guess it. we're saying bye to everybody. I guess. Yeah, yeah. We, we did run. Overtime is okay. We, I mean, if you want to call it overtime, we, we went, it's like 325. I'm just going to chat. Let's see. Oh, we're only a little bit over. Not too far. Usually, we never go overtime like this. Yeah. Not usually, no. You were ready to stop an hour ago. You were saying, okay, okay, I'm done. I think I'm done. And then somehow we wanted to keep you going. Yeah. I, I think I did right by using the pencils because they just kind of, they help with the fine details, um, these pencils. So it's always a good idea. Well, thank you very much, Diana, for having me on your panel. Yeah. And thank you, thank you for being a guest artist on the panel. You're welcome, yeah. and thank you. Aww. Oh, let's see, Clean Mills saying bye. So yeah. Oh, she says great one. Oh, thank you very much, guys. 
Stay safe and have a wonderful day. Yep. Okay. Thank you very much, Sarah. Okay. All right. Thank you, Gracie. Thank you, everybody. Thank, thank you, God. Thank you for watching today. Thank and you. And next week, it's, uh, she's painting a sea turtle. I can't wait for that one. 1 p.m. Yeah. Eastern Standard Time, Wednesday. All right, guys. Signing out. Over and out. <laughs> All right, then, guys. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. No, -bye. Picker Rick's still here. What He was oh. lurking. He was saying something. He says, awesome. Wait, oh, I'll thank you. Today, Diana and Gracie. Thank you, Picker Rick. Thank you. Uh, thank you for having this. You're welcome. Thanks, thank Picker you. Rick. Thank you, Pickerick. Yeah, good choice uh, to do the chicken painting. Yeah, very good choice. Thank you, guys. Okay, bye. Bye, okay. guys. Stay safe. Bye, bye.